Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this colorful text bouncing animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, start them in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one paint, width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, duration you can make whatever you want, just click on OK. Now we are going to first create our text, so for that you can select the text tool just click and you can type whatever you want i'm going to type motion and it's completely up to you You can use whatever font you want i am using this montserrat black font now let's make it anchor point in the center so for that you can hold down the control key and double click on this so that now it's in the center now we can like scale this up something like this so i think this looks good now we can select this and we are ready to like create a bunch of different copies for each letter so first that i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this now first i'm going to type m and let me just quickly select this and let's change its color which we can change later on so first we are going to animate our m so for that we can select this let's press p for position let's go to somewhere around one second and let's place it over here and in the beginning i'm going to like move it to this side so i want my m to like come from this side so that it will start revealing all the other characters and somewhere around here we can like place it where we have this original m like that so once you're happy with this we can select the keyframes and then press f9 to ease them then select the keyframes let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph now i'm going to change the graph to look something like this perfect or if you want you can like make it like really fast like that perfect so here we have our animation now we are ready to animate other characters as well so for that we can again like select this and let's press ctrl d and on this one we can probably delete the keyframe because we only want the up and down motion so for that i'm going to like quickly change this to o which we have over here now let's align it to this and now we are ready to animate its position as well so let's add a keyframe now in the beginning so we can move this keyframe ahead now in the beginning we are going to like place it down below so that it will overshoot so somewhere around here we can like make it like go up like that now it's completely up to you. you can like make it however up you want and at somewhere around here it will go come back so here you can see we have this oh perfect so we have this sort of animation now we don't want it to like stop over here we can add some expression to make it like bounce so for that i'm using this realistic bounce overshoot expression so we have this keyframe bounce back expression i will put a link in the description from where you can go to this website and after that you can like scroll down and you will find this keyframe bounce back now just select everything this expression right click copy now we can go back to the after effects now over here you can hold on the alt key and just click on the stopwatch and after that you can press ctrl v to paste the expression now if i press play you can see we have this o and as it is coming down you can see that it will start bouncing now we can play around with these keyframes further so first i'm going to like select these two and let's press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor now i'm going to like change the graph to look something like let's keep it like that and we can probably make it like this so we have this o and you can see that it goes out and after that it comes back and it bounces like that again it's completely up to you if you want to have more bounces then you can like move this this keyframe like closer now you can see we have a lot of more bounces now if i like move it really close you can see that we will have a lot more bouncing but i think yeah this one looks good perfect so here we have our letter now in the same way we can like keep on duplicating and like repeating this step so for that we can select this layer press u to see the keyframes now we can press ctrl d the next letter is t so we can let's type t let's press u and let's select all the keyframes and just simply move it to this position just make sure that all the keyframes are selected perfect so here we have the t now let's press ctrl d we can probably like type i and now again let's select the keyframes and let's just move it to this point now again we have this let's select this press ctrl d to select the o and we can probably select this just select the keyframes and let's move it over here now let's do the same thing for the end as well perfect so here we have all the characters now if i press play you can see all of these are coming in and perfect 
so here we have everything now we don't want all of them to come at once we want them like to come one after other so we have this m over here so we will like, start animating the n so let's place it over here and i'm going to like select all of the others and let's move them further apart now let's pick up points so let's select this m we have like moved it accidentally and let's pick up points so somewhere around here you can see that the m is crossing n so we can probably like move it to this side perfect so here we have the n going up um we can like make it one frame ahead perfect so here we have the m n and somewhere around here we can like have our o so it is the other one it's this one so let's just place it to this side and like place it over here so we have m o let's select the i so let's just place it to this side like that and after that somewhere around here we can have the t so here we have the t and somewhere around here we can have the o coming up like that so now if i press play you can see we have all the letters coming up one by one perfect now we don't want them to be like visible in the beginning or somewhere around here so for that we can just simply either trim these so we can like just trim these or we can like have a trackpad so let me just quickly select this rectangle tool and let's just zoom in and i'm going to draw a rectangle like that now let's just place it somewhere around here very precisely something like that now i'm going to like select all of these layers except the m and i'm going to change their track mat so i'm going to just pick whip this and i'm going to set this to alpha inverted so now these will be only visible once they are like outside this frame perfect now if you're using the older versions of after effects then the trackpad option will be changed instead of layer names or like these icons you will have something like track mat alpha inverted so you can like proceed it according to the older ways so here we have our animation perfect so now we can get rid of our main text which is this one let's hide it up so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now we are ready to create the other text as well so for that we can select all of these layers let's right click and let's pre-compose and i'm going to call this one motion just click on ok now we have this motion and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this let's call this composition our second text which is nation now let's open it up and over here we can again like enable this and let's change the text to nations and we are ready to like animate the everything but with different animation so i'm going to like delete all of these and instead i'm going to like animate these only so for the motion we chose the m because it was like on this side and it was coming from this direction from the right side but for this nation text we are going to use the s letter which will make come from the left side so let's just double click and i'm going to type s now let's select this press u and this is going to be our final position so i'm going to like place it to somewhere around here now initially i want this to be like on the other side perfect so you can see that the animation is already applied nice now with the motion text our characters were like moving up but for this one we are going to like move them down because our s is coming from the other side so it will give us a really nice effect so for that we can like simply select this point and we can first delete this shape layer so that we don't have any kind of mat now we can like pick this point and let's move the character down below somewhere around here now this is going to be our final and the initial position as well we can like change it to be up this time because we are basically doing the opposite thing so now the characters will like go down and then it, they will go back to their original position perfect now we are ready to like make them just like we have it over here now we can align them however we want select this let's press ctrl d to duplicate this let's type a now you have to repeat the same step just like align all of these one by one 
let me just quickly do that so now here we are done now our next step is to like offset them one by one so let's pick some points so somewhere around here you can see we have this letter so we can like let's select first of all all of these and let's just move them and we can like move our first character somewhere around here let's go to this point so we can have the a somewhere around here we can have the t and somewhere around here we can have our i perfect so now if i press play you can see we have the characters coming in nice now again we can like do the same thing so let's just create a rectangle something like that at the top now let's just align it to something like that now we can select all of these and let's pick whip and select this and make sure that this is inverted so that it won't be visible in the beginning and now if i press play you can see we have this animation perfect so once you're done with this we can hide this layer let's go back to the main composition and let's drag the nation comms as well now we can like align them so let's move this twice and this twice as well this we can move once and this we can move once as well or maybe like a little bit more perfect now if i press play you can see we have these characters coming from the opposite directions and this looks very good perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to like stylize this so for that we can just simply add a solid just click on ok let's place it over here and on this one we can apply four color gradient let's drag it over here let's change these colors and i'm going to like make them really dark this one and this one we can make it dark this one we can like make it a little bit yellow and after that we can move these like far away like this so here we have this really nice background now we can select these two and we can have like four color gradient on to these as well again it's completely up to you. you can like play around with whatever sort of colors you want and once you're happy with this we can copy this and just paste it onto the nations as well now if you want you can like change the colors a little bit perfect so here we have this now in order to like make this really stand out we can apply glow so right click new let's add an adjustment here let's search for glow let's drag the glow over here now i'm going to like lower this down something like that and let's just make it like really tight then select this press ctrl d on this one we can like make it a little bit more something like that let's slow down its intensity now let's select this press ctrl d this one like we can make it like very harsh or very big so there you go now we have this very amazing text now we can have a little bit of white outline over here as well or the white text as well so for that we can select these press ctrl d and let's just place it down below and on these ones we can just simply apply fill effect and let's just drag it over here and let's change the color to white just copy this and we can paste it over here as well so now in order to make it appear we can like have it little bit of delay like that or we can like move it little bit ahead just like that so here you can see we have our letters coming in perfect so you can just play around with the glow settings and at last we can like drag a curves adjustment on top of this and let's just place it like after the glow 3 like that and if i open it up we can have like have little bit of contrast just like that so here you can see we have this now if i press play you can see we have created this very nice animation now we can do one more thing we can duplicate this and we can like place it over here so that the white is like really popping out just like that again it's completely up to you you can like probably delete this and let's go with this look only so this is how you can create these colorful bouncing text animations in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one